Okay, so now all the backgrounds are finished, and uh, it's also a different day of recording. <laughs> These take a long time. Anyway, usually once I get the backgrounds done, it's time for line art, and just to make it a little easier on myself, I usually take a light blue, because that just works for me, is light blue. Um, I take a light blue and cover, it's just on its own layer, but I cover up the background to where I can just see it. So, zoom in here. When I start drawing the characters where they are, I'll be able to see the background that I've drawn behind them, and I'll be able to see exactly where I want to put my lines. So this is this is why I do the backgrounds first. It's so that um, when I place the characters, they will fit into the space I've given them. So now if I need to adjust the sketch, like say if I wanted to, I, mean, I do want to, I need to adjust the sketch. Like one thing I would like to do is move this leg so it looks more like she's sitting up on the mattress. Yeah, there we go. Sometimes I would just erase and redraw this, but this is just a small shift. So now we can definitely tell her leg is up here in the air, just hanging over the bottom of the mattress here, and this foot is on the ground. So that all fits the area that we are in. And I guess now we're going to go back to speed paint while I do the lines. Hey there, this is Post Editing Myth, uh, who decided that trying to talk and record everything in real time and then switching to silent speed paints was boring. So, I want to, right now, I want to explain something I'm doing with background and foreground, which is there are places where the background slash foreground is supposed to overlap the drawn characters. And when I do that, like in this doorway, you'll see I'll just draw them the characters over this spot that's going to be in front of them and later on I will come back and just erase whatever part of the character is supposed to be behind something. I used to use separate layers to draw the four like draw the characters entirely then use a separate layer and draw a foreground in front of them and I realized over time that that's wasting a lot of time where I, when I could just be erasing a piece of the finished character and have it line up with the background that I've already drawn. Anyway. Oh, something else about the line work that I'll do. Um, I'm not sure how well you can see it from this perspective, but I have three layers of line art. Uh, if you use like art programs that use layering, that'll just make sense. If you don't, I'm not sure how much of sense it'll make. But basically, I have three layers. Uh, the bottom most layer is lines that are already done and finished. And the top two are working lines, meaning I'll put in the lines for something. And if a lot of details are really close together, like face or hair, I'll just put them on two separate layers. And then I'll be able to just erase lines on one layer or another. It keeps all the edges so much cleaner. I'm not on one layer accidentally erasing good lines when I take out little bits of bad lines. It, it just makes it so much more simple using two layers to get things neat and clean. See, there's a lot of little moments here where my lines overlap each other, and then I just erase some of them. Probably sounds more complicated, like saying use two layers instead of one. Um, but it, it's another, just something that works for me with the experience I've had drawing. Someone else probably does it completely differently. Also, uh, if anyone's watching these videos because they're thinking about starting their own comic, this is just occurring to me because I'm drawing these three characters. You will draw your characters hundreds of times, unless you're doing just a few pages, like a 30 page comic, you will draw characters over and over and over. You're going to draw, especially their faces, so many times. So when I designed the characters for Within, I made them fairly simple. Before I go off on any more tangents, just one more thing about how I do line work. See, I know that when I switch to coloring, I'm going to be using the magic wand tool that you get on Paint Tool Sci, which is so much easier when you have closed line art. Which means all these open spaces, like where these legs are coming off the bottom of the panel, I will come in later with a straight line tool and just close those off. Now I know other artists will do things differently, and everything I've been saying here is just ways that help me take less time to draw my comic pages. So as you just saw, we're up to about 9 hours now, 
and we're finally just finishing with the line art.